50 points for the offense today, 30 point win. Just oh. how'd you feel about the way the offense played overall today? I uh, just, I love how it all started, you know, with the, the defense setting the tone and, you know, the pick six, you know, getting everyone going. And then, uh, man, you just couldn't write it up better with, you know, the putting the points on the board. And then, of course, you know, night game in, in the Palace. So, did things feel maybe particularly smooth just in the passing game? Seems like I mean, you were finding a bunch of different receivers, guys were making plays. Maybe how did it feel? I think it's something we go back to with is rhythm and creating completions and making competitive plays and moving the chains. I feel like as we get into that rhythm, uh, we're able to obviously play a bunch of different guys and then uh, kind of just spread the ball around. So Deep ball was humming tonight. That's not something that Iowa State defense has given up much over the past five years. Yeah. What did you see? What was able to go into that? I mean, schematically, they, they cause a lot of problems and uh, they're very uh, great at what they do. Um, and I think we just, you know, in, in a game like this, you got to make competitive plays and you, you got to, you know, take your shots when you have those opportunities. So uh, I'm glad we did. I'm glad we, you know, took advantage of those um, shots and then, you know, made plays down the red zone. So Dealing with the deep balls, were there things you worked on from last season to this one in terms of mechanics or is it really all just part of the confidence and, and all the things working for you guys? Okay. Confidence in the scheme, uh, year two with a bunch of the guys that, you know, I've played with. And then um, it's it's a pitch and catch, you know, it's a, a mixture. It's a dance between two people and not a, a one man show. So I think being able to, you know, build that continuity is, is huge for um, our pass game. So when you're making a run to the end zone, and I believe the word was trucked. Uh, whenever you got in there, you yeah. kind of got low a little bit of a linebacker yeah. down to the end zone. Just yeah. kind of talk about the feeling of maybe getting over on one of the guys that usually get you. Yeah, my, my dad's a basketball coach, and, uh, you know, growing up, you know, we always loved calling for an and one, and I just I believe that one was a was an and one. And, um, just finding a way to get in the end zone, it's, it's a good deal. So You seem to be playing with a lot of swagger, confidence. Do you feel like that's growing each week? I mean, even in, in your answers in the media sessions, you seem more confident. Yeah. As we all know, uh, you know, when things are good and going good, it's it's easy to be good. And, you know, we've, we've seen the road of, of both sides, at least I have in my journey. And I think you got to, you know, take it you know, take this journey as, as long as you can go and continue to have fun with it. And um, I think, you know, towards the end of the year last year, just I think it was a big thing uh, in, in my head is continue to have fun with this game. You know, although it was a rocky road and, you know, kind of going back to when you're that little kid and just enjoying every second of it. Um, I think I had lost it for a little bit, but, you know, when I flipped that switch and just started having fun, it just allowed me to play free, have fun, play fast. And then, Play with a free mind. I think that's something that also kind of goes along with this with this whole journey. So that's something I'll continue to do. Um, kind of put that at the forefront of, of you know my off season going into this year. So having fun's a, a big part of, of doing it. So what did that flip switch of kind of playing free and was it sort of something after last season or was it something that a mentality changed going into this season? I think it was a mixture. You know talk about a roller coaster it was um, but you just learn a lot about yourself your team the people around you um, and I think you know naturally I don't I couldn't give you exact date but there's a time where it flipped and I just started playing free and, and going into off season is something that you know pushing one another because of of you know the big off season we needed to have but then also having fun with it you know embracing the the third and shorts, embracing that fourth and short and wanting to go get it, embracing situations that people may not, you know, want to be in. And, and it's inevitable to be in those certain positions. So embracing it, having fun with it, and um, making it something that you want to pride yourself on. So.